So for the last three days, I was actually really confused what exactly to talk about because imperfection is such a tricky topic and at the same time, it's a topic of my life. Like everything in my life is imperfect. Like I, I am a representer of everything that can go imperfect, whether it's on the shoot, uh, while you're writing, while you are uh, directing, or while you, I don't know, preparing your morning eggs. Uh, when I was coming here, I'm like, you know what? I mean, people will be there, Daria, you have to clean your shoes. And I, <laughs> and I forgot to do it. And I'm like, you know, but at the same time, because I said that, now your attention is going to my shoes. And for me, this is what imperfection is. And at the same time, what perfection is. When we talk about it, we are concentrating our thoughts and our entire understanding of who we are, the, the way we, how we want to, to see the world, into something that maybe it's not even part of you. So when I was studying philosophy, I was really fascinated with this idea uh, of um, theory of forms, which was um, kind of suggested by us by Platon. And he believed that everything that we see around is um, there are forms of something and there are objects. So the forms, this is this ideal beings which represents the objects. Like for example, this is the chair, right? It looks like, it ch like chair, it feels like chair, and therefore it represents its function. So there are ideal chair and there are chairs, or like even what? pillows that you're sitting on, right? Because it's kind of represent its function to be a chair, in this case, to be a pillow. So it means that there are ideal world, ideal people, ideal chairs, and us trying to imitate it. And especially all of us know in the era of uh, postmodernism, right? When it might look like a chair, but it doesn't feel like a chair. It's something really weird. I'm not even sure the chair, or it's a painting or it's not a painting. It's a film, it's not a film. So it is very subjective and I want to start, you know, the speech, no speech, I know, talk, um, saying that, you know, imperfection is just, or perfection doesn't matter, all of us, we're obsessed with it. But at the same time, when I'm sitting with my editor, I'm like, no, I want that cut to be perfect. <laughs> or last time when we were shooting and the set, the film was set in 1960s, and the, uh, we know we had really long discussion with production designer and there was one scene which was in brothel and they want to, to, you know, to be stuck this really dirty newspapers on the walls. And I'm like, amazing, let's do it. And the next cut two, I'm coming next day and I'm checking it out and I see Narendra Modi's face on it. <laughs> I'm like, it's definitely not 1950s, I hope, unless it's like some weird reincarnation, but it's definitely not 1950s. And the production is like, yeah, but you know what, who would notice it? But I noticed it. And there was some really interesting lesson from that shoot when one of my actors, Jim, he entered the set and um, he just looked up and he said, Daria, I wouldn't be shooting here. I'm like, what do you mean? I thought it's like some you know, fancy behavior. And like, no, I can see the tapes, which is connected to the, you know, to the wires for, for lighting. I'm like, Jim, come on, just calm down. Uh, I mean, you can't see that, like, but I can see them. Like, so what? No, just when I'm being this character and I'm, I'm being in this world and then suddenly when I see the tape, it throws me off. It throws me and takes me to a completely different world that I was imagining, right? And I kind of felt bad about it because I realized that all of us, no matter what we do, whether we are writing, whether we are directing, whether we are blogging, whether we are photographing, we are trying to create our own, wor own worlds. And those worlds are perfect. And I feel... Again, the, the word perfect, it's such a complicated word. What does it mean? It means that everything needs to be perfect, needs to be clean. And it's definitely not clean. I was just standing down and uh, I was talking um, to, to all of you. And I was thinking to, about all of you. And I saw this frame. It was saying, the liquidation bank of Karat. First, I don't know, liquidation it means that the building will be liquidated or the name of the bank is liquidation, which is a strange choice for the bank for sure. And it was like really dirty, you know, with that um, disgusting brown color all over. And it was just perfect. Like it was so cinematic. I'm like, oh, I wish we would have just taken short for some, something else here. So for me, it was perfect. 
For architects, it's definitely not perfect. For people who are living here, for you, it's definitely not perfect. Every time when they're coming, having smoke, and you see that wall, it definitely doesn't look very cozy, right? <laughs> but it is cozy, and it is perfect for my world. So I feel that it just comes down to what kind of worlds we are trying to build. And this perfection, which is imperfection, and imperfection, which is perfection, is just part of the narrative or your voice that you are trying to see. I feel that more time also, for example, in my case, I spend in industry, more comfortable I feel, more reliable people I'm creating around myself. I'm becoming more and more lazy and more and more in this perfect world. And it's actually perfect. I have people whom I can trust. I have opportunities that I didn't have before. But I feel that this perfect world is actually not perfect anymore because I'm not getting inspired by the imperfection that I used to have. And I know it, 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 it sounds terrible, but when you are like walking for five kilometers and it's raining and you hate everything, you hate everyone, but you're coming up with so many different ideas, so many different details. Even, like, just think about it. The way right now you sit on, the, uh, on this pillow. Pillow is not the most comfortable thing to sit on, right? But it's already uncomfortable, and that attracts attention, and that just makes you feel so much more, right? And think, uh, yeah, w w how does it feel? Uh, I don't know when it will be ending, and, like, start noticing some, some details. And this is what all of us were about, right? Businessmen, writers, directors, all of us were just trying to notice details which no one has noticed before. When, I, when Krisha contacted me and she's like, you know, can you just send me something about what you might be talking about? I got really fried and I got really scared because I don't know what to do, I don't know what, what, what to write. And I, I was trying to push it and I was trying to find vacuum which will allow me to find excuse not to be in this high pressure situation. Netflix. <laughs> Instagram, oh, let's, let's have a small talk, you know, or uh, someone comes up to me with uh, some question, I'm like, yeah, yeah, definitely, I will, let's talk about that. I mean, it's not very important, but I would talk about it because for me it's an excuse. So, and I feel that's a kind of danger of modern world that more these temptations are around us of perfect world, less uncomfortable zones are there and therefore less creative spaces that we can just like try explore and expose ourselves to and this is something interesting and i feel more ideal things you're creating for example you created a music video and everyone loved it you're like <laughs> good you're creating next one and actually some people again liked it and you're like <laughs> you're creating third one people loved it you're like <laughs> and then some, someone comes to you and is like let's, let's do next music video and you're like, listen, let me come up with something so unusual no one has seen before, so that your next video will be better than previous. Your next event will be better than previous. And then you're trying to be someone whom you are not, because you're trying to satisfy the audience or your people or, or who expect something from you. And at that moment, we're becoming weak, because then we're trying not to be ourselves. So now I'm planning to shoot the worst film in the history of humankind. <laughs> Well, I'm not sure about the feature film because I'm not sure that my producer will allow me that. But music video for sure, uh, or ad for sure, or a short film, or something that when you, all of you, you will watch it, you're like, Dar has created it. Oh my God, that's, that's just disgusting. Like she's, I, I, I had so much expectation, it's terrible. And I feel that will give me freedom not to have fear to try and to, to experiment and to just go out there and just to create something that I will not feel pressure, pressurized. I guess, and just pressure from people. So sometimes even being and creating this perfect world, it restricts you so much that you don't know what to do next. And you, if you are, you know, like this, this um, say that young age or directors who were creating films in a young age, they had so much um, kind of potential in them and they were so creative. But then with age, they're becoming less and less creative because they're being in this zone not just of comfortable zone of i don't know money and fame and glory but also zone of fear of trying to feel and to be worse than your previous 
thing. I guess it's not, uh, we can't refer this to mothers who are giving child to, I mean, birth to your second child, right? <laughs> because your second child is a child. It's like a film. Doesn't matter whether it's good or bad. I just love it. And I have created it because I wanted to create it. I don't care how other people will think about it. I don't think what my, um, I don't know, elder son will think about it. I just have it because I just wanted to have it. Because I want to give birth to a magic. So I feel for us as the creators, it's just very important sometimes just to close our eyes, cut ourselves from our friends, parents, I don't know, everyone, and just to click that weird photo or write that weird script. To write a script that you never wanted to, to shoot, but you just wanted that very moment and nothing else. Just to be free in your own creation. Because that's why we decided to be creators in whatever space we are. Thank you. <laughs>